evening and welcome to Sports Friday. I am your host Edio Go and joining me on set niko na watu wangu wenye watanisaidia ku break down each and everything that has been happening in the world of sport throughout the week. Now my fire end niko na Edgar Buire. Yes, our very own Edgar Buire. Alafu hapa katikati uh, just close to me we have Brian Mushiri. However, yes, aliniambia ni sympathy or title. But anyway, uh, there's a lot of things that have been happening uh, in the new world of sports. Coaches wamekuwa kivutwa kazi, wengine wanaandikwa kazi. Harambe Stars walienda wakashinda away au waka draw away wakakuja nyumbani hopefully tukiongoja watafanya the better than that they went on and even drew at home uh, which was very disappointing for us but then again it went on it went on now kwa coaches kuvutwa kazi na kurudishwa kazi but before we get to all that let's get to the breaking news now Kenya Premier League champions son uh, Former Kenya Premier League champions Sony Sugar have been expelled from KPL after failing to honor three league games this season. Yes, I repeat. Former Kenya Premier League champion Sony Sugar FC have been expelled from KPL after failing to honor three league games this season. Now, on a statement that has been released by the FKF uh, 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 telling us more. That was the statement. Yes, that one on your screen. That's the statement. And uh, guys, uh, I don't know if you, you guys have heard this because it was really short. Now, on the statement, it reads, uh, following the review of the referee and match commissioner report of the KPL 2019-2020 match number 09 between Zoo FC and Sony Sugar FC, which was scheduled to be played on Wednesday, November 20th, 2019 at Kericho Green Stadium kickoff 3 p.m., it was noted that the away club Sony Sugar failed to honor the match that being the third time this season that Sony Sugar FC has failed to honor a match park the KPL policy uh, of or refusal to honor the matches and also per articles 4.1.12 and 4.1.13 of the 2019 FKF rules reg regulations Sony Sugar FC have been expelled from the Kenya Premier League and all its results have been nullified. The remaining league fixture involving the clubs have been also cancelled. Wow. Guys, yes. well, okay, we had discussed this uh, initially, uh, the, the frustrations and the strains that our teams are going through with financial crisis, Nanini, and I, I think this is one of the reasons why they have failed to actually honor these matches, but even then, three matches, one season and not at Jafika Katikati. Don't you think that's a bit too much? Yeah. You know, like the struggle is real, Sindo. Yeah, the struggle is real, Eddie. But the punishment is also too harsh for Sony Sugar. Being expelled from the Premier League, you know, Nyesha Kwamba, Ndio Kuna Wanajaribu could send a statement that if you're not prepared for this thing, you should you ought to be prepared for this thing. If Obasi FKF in a Jeribu Kutuma, Ujumbe Flani, Lakini, PFKF in a fight to a Sulu who quasi team. Kukosa is a Kukosa for a feather, Conrad. Brian, oh no, not to find it. One's a Kulia Serkalis idea, ma. Because in the, in the Constitution. But this is just one team, okay? And they have already says, set their nini. And what Sony Sugar is going through is not just them alone. There is a chance that Kuna Timingini and through the same frustration. Now, how many teams can they eject from the Premier League before to semi at a Premier League? Okay, there's someone earlier on in this season who said, let us uh, stop the Kenyan Premier League for a year. And people laughed. But I think that Yoyne is a cool solution to all this. Because now, look, uh, you've expelled Sony Sugar. So that only remains with one more team for relegation. That means some sort of laxity on the bottom half of the, of the, of the league standings. On top of it, Gormahia are up and uh, have three games in hand. You know, it's, other teams will just, it's just, it's just a pack. Well, it, a pack. Well, okay. So, uh, actually, at this point, I think, oh, okay, me, this is just my opinion, but you guys can have a different one. I think the government, before actually forcing uh, sport pesa to work, okay, work in it, they should have looked at all the areas that sports pesa may cover, and then wange kwa uh, how precautions on how to actually handle them, handle those uh, spots that wame cover, should they leave Kenya? Pretty sad. Because right now, so many teams are struggling, and the government, uh, okay, everyone is turning to the government because they, it's, it's, it's a wow, them, they feel that it's the government's fault. So what do we do from this point? You know, first of all, I, I actually feel, or from what I've, I've been having conversations with a couple of people, big and uh, low in the sports industry, yeah. and they say that uh, the sport pressure, oh, sport pressure. Sport PESA issue, the guys in the areas <laughs> are screaming all over the place. But Sport PESA issue has been, it was, it was beyond us. 
some characters in government wanted share in the big company and uh, people on this other end were not ready to pr- to publicize the gov- the the corporate so you know later issue now to a governor akasema you know what mutatujua mtajua hamjui but sasa angalia tumefika point yenye i mean this is sony sugar i mean this is one club that mean ilianza kuisikia nikiwa mtoto mdogo growing up nimekuwa nikijua sony sugar now they have been in the premier league they have been relegated but right now they are in the premier league but they being relegated not because of how they played but because they failed to own a matches and because when well, the one reason for that is because they are lacking financial support to actually uh, in to, to to meet their 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 fixture and the schedules that uh, zimekuwa set before them so personally me i feel that the government should have should find ways to actually correct this because Sony Sugar may just be an example of what's to come in future to many other teams. But then again, let's hope for the best. Moving on to other stories, coach Medo departs and Wazito waste no time in appointing new staff. Now, after the departure of coach Melis Medo in what the club official statement said to be a mutual agreement, Wazito Football Club went on to confirm that Stewart Hall and Frank Ouma have joined the club's technical bench on an interim basis. The two commence duty in the immediate effect and will, char- will be in charge of guiding the team in the remaining matches of the first leg, after which they will aid in setting up a new look technical bench, which will also play a role in restructuring the playing unit. Hall needs to no introduction in the Kenyan Premier League as he has previously coached AFC Leopards and Sofa Parker owner. On the other hand, had returned to Onfold after a year leaving for other duties. He guided the team in the Kenyan Premier League for the first time in history in 2017 and was in charge of the team top tier in 2018. So, guys, coach It's been the order of the week. It's been the, the, the order of the week. Like, but here's what I find very interesting about Wazito, okay? It's, it's not long ago that they appointed the coach that. The predecessor. Exactly. So, to what end? Don't look like AFC Leopards. I don't know. Wameanza yom tindo. Wameanza yom tindo. Okay, honestly speaking, I mean, okay. One thing I can understand the frustrations of Wazito. They are one of the clubs that has the best facilities when it comes to training. They pay well. Irregardless of, of sponsor or not. But still, performance in Cochini and the way they were performing very well before we were promoted. So I think, what, what what do we have to say about this? I mean, seriously. Okay. Mm, was it on the club ambayo ulibo sema inafanya? Iko na tunza sema kwamba katika Kenya Premier League ni club ambayo iko na vitu karibu viote. Kwa sababu inazile hela na vitu kama hivyo. Na wewe kama coach ukiwe katika club ambayo ina kila kitu, unatarajua kuwa na matokeo bora. Una utakapokosa ku when you fail to deliver the good results una ukifutwa kazi ufai kumlaumu mtu lakini coming to the appointment of these two hawa ni makocha ambao wana experience and i hope they'll do well so hopefully tutona wazito can improve no. well that's good news for wazito hopefully hopefully because at, at this point pia tuko sure kama vitu zitaenda but that's good news for wazito at the moment so we are just hoping that the Kenya Premier League doesn't crumble to the end because the way things is in end right now it's like makeshift unajua atujuni nini nafanya atujuni nini nafanyika bro bro do you have anything to add on this no as in it's just it's it's even boring to talk about the Kenyan Premier League it's, it's starting to be right yeah. I, I actually thought about it after <laughs> mine is called uh, James Nyokabi or yeah. Nyokabi and uh, he w- constantly, even when Super Sport were here covering the KPL, Alikuanga Yendi Alikuwa presenter on site every time. And recently, I was having a conversation with him, and he was like, "Ah, now this KPL, bro. Uh, let me just remain to radio and what I what I have a conversation on on radio every Saturday on Sunday. And let me watch a life young and the because KPL is just we are tired of the same things: finances, uh, match fixing. The other end there is a uh, do what and what and you know." It's getting it's getting boring true true well to sony sugar we really hope to the premier league and to wazito well what can i say all the best for you in your new appointments moving on to harambe stylists has continued to impress in tanzania now harambe stylists sealed a top spot finish in group b of the ongoing sekafa women championships in tanzania consequently booking a semi-final bath against Burundi on Saturday. Stylus beat Uganda 3 0 courtesy goals apiece by Masi Airo, Mwanalima Adam, and Getrix Shikangwa, completing a perfect group of stage outing. Up next is the semi-finals match against Burundi on Saturday as Uganda faced host Tanzania in the other semi-finals. Meanwhile, 
has been slated on Monday, November 25th. So Uganda and Tanzania play on Monday. Uh, Harambe Starlets and Burundi play on Saturday. But here's one thing I have to say. This is one thing that actually really, really impressed me about um, Starlets. They were off from a very, well, were on a very good run, uh, hoping to qualify for the Olympics, uh, which is a very, very big tournament, and they couldn't make it. Mm. Uh, after that, they were, it was like a back-to-back -back tournament to Wakikuja Sekafa, and they didn't let the ile 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 kushindwa before hinder what is ahead of them so they have taken it now may take with pride and they have been playing game after game now make to impress especially and this is a very big especially after beating <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is playing a good game. Uh, uh, if I can take this one from the top, um, do you see the goal by my friend? At least I can say she's my friend and she owes me a drink. Mona Limon? Yes. I, I knew she, he was going to go for that. Uh, 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 that lady's on fire, my goodness. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. But it's nice. It's nice to see them obviously taking back what uh, was in the Olympics, qualifier, Olympics qualifiers, just, uh, financial uh, strains. I mean, you go back, you're now back, as in it's a game of ping pong at Jui Kamatko game. So ni kama venye ulisema last week tu tu imefika mahali mpaka mapelewa yamezoea financial issues sio issue hata wanashtuka kukiwa na pesa na hii ni Kenya okay okay mimi ni kwa patia tu kongole team ya Starlets kwa sababu they have made us proud true 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 indeed but me, this is what I can say. Sam, if Starlets, I, I, I do pray that you continue with the same spirit. Do not let what is happening around you hinder what you're capable of. Your talent is no, in no way associated to the problems that are surrounding it. So keep on with that spirit, keep on with that strength, and please do continue making us proud. We are so happy for you, and we wish you all the best as you continue in the tournament. Now, Fene has named the squad for the World Cup 7 Series. Kenya 7 co Kenya 7's coach... Paul Feeney has named his 18-month squad for the 2019-2020 HSBC Sevens World Series. Andrew Omonde will captain the squad this season, assisted by Jacob Ojoe and Jeffrey Oluoch. Youngsters Johnston Olinde, Olindi and Alvin Otieno and Haman Humwa have also been included in this squad that will be trimmed to, to 13 for Dubai. Veterans William Ambaka, Daniel Sikut, Sikuta, Colin Sinjera and Billy Odiambo are among the returnees having opted out last season due to financial issues. The first leg will be held in Dubai, United Emirates Arab for the December 5th and 7th. Rugby series is back. It's one thing more gonna say. Uh, I, I, am, I am one person that actually follows this thing. Uh, me and yeah, I, 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 li I really li like... It's the one sport ladies follow and tweet about. And tweet about it. Ata KOT na una gona kwa mechanga mkev baa sana. Because the... Uh, Saturday morning is trending. It's trending. But we have to, okay. Tumeja, tulijaribu sana. We really tried hard to actually remain on the, on the, on the, on the series. Because it, we were... It, that was a... That was a... And I hope, I hope that financial issues this time will be sorted because that thing actually almost led us to a very, very, very embarrassing stage. I hope that it was sorted this season so that... Sisi tukabaki. Sisi tukabaki. Hapo tu kwa line. Japan or religious is it kabak? Cool. Na cut off. But here's the thing. I hope your financial issue is well sorted because last time you only the biggest issue. Ma playo kaka ta kona kucheza. Wengine wako na izi ma tripsa kona sio wapi wapi. Tusha tusha ndege tusha panda. So ma it's no longer impressive. So kisi kijeto na taka ni kufidwa watu wa home. So yes, you know it's very hard to explain to someone that I play for the Kenya Sevens. I raise the Kenyan flag high each and every week internationally each and every week to a landlord at inenda kusikizia landlord aki atuja lipua na ananiona kwa tv ni kicheza Dubai you know it's very hard so I feel it has gotten to a point on where our players now give me my money first and then I'll play I'll give my best but please give me my money first because my family needs to feed my children needs to go to school I personally need some upkeep you know, that the human beings. Is you know, there's one thing I've noticed. Like ever since Tuanze conversation, like ever since we started the news today, uh, if there's one thing that has been up, up, uh, clearly clear, if I may use those two words at the same time, is the fact that um, kuna serious financial issues in the sporting 
ministry uh, in regards to releasing the money so and uh because this this uh kuna point in africa we, we, it, it goes from serious to petty and i yeah. think we are well off that threshold and it's really embarrassing and it's frustrating and even sisima fans and uh, people who speak about sports each and every week we are we are actually getting frustrated about it because really honestly this is kenya and we are but we have an entire ministry dedicated to this i think Eddie is gonna come in um edgar is gonna come in today i'm confused Edgar is going to come in but i think when you see those big names coming back collins it shows that william Baker. it shows there's something it shows there's something yes edgar okay uh hopefully hope <laughs> <laughs> with all hopes we we to go and hope kwamba this time round hakutakuwa na issues since i could cause a Pace and your motivation, full stop. Mambo ya uzalendo? Ndiyo uzalendo. <laughs> Lakini, pace and your full motivation. Nama brai? Eh, yeah, pace and your... I think, mimi na, as in, I'm, I'm only playing because I'm getting paid. Yes, I'm passionate about the game, but you know passion is not legal tender. Atuwezi chemsha passion. <laughs> Tukule. Tukule. Ati <laughs> leo chemsha passion. Ama tukarangi na kitungu. True. <laughs> Uta nino kitungu, wacha minu kujana nanya. Pia passion. <laughs> Tukule passion. Yeah. That's not the same. Well, um, well, I well, financial issues are a serious issue in Kenya. And speaking of financial issues, get this. So, Zarika went to Mexico uh, in about to defend her title, and uh, she lost. But here's where it gets a little bit interesting. I mean, it's not the, it, the... Her losing is not interesting, but it was shocking. That is for sure. And we really hope that in her fix, uh, fixed schedule that Anafak Cheza, I mean, the fight, the next bout, things will go differently. But here's where it gets interesting. Zarika now turns her frustration on the government after losing. Well, Kenya f <laughs> Kenya's Fatma Iron Fist Zarika has blamed inadequate preparation and lack of support from the government for boxing, cancelling WBC World Cup Super Bantawit title loss. Zarika relinquished the title on Sunday morning when she lost to Mexican Yemilit Yemi Ma Macado in the unanimous point decision in Mexico. According to Zarika, she was left out with deep in the deep waters when Sportpesa withdrew their sponsorship and the government did not cover that. So, uyu alienda, okay, let me get this straight. Let me connect to this sport. Connect, connect. I, I just don't know. Let me get. It, it, it's too much. Like. Yeah, me to get it, so, sport person only withdraw. Uh, there were her main sponsors. Government take when Zarika. Zarika was on, I, okay. <laughs> I, am not, I am not rich. But I was part of the team that directed that sport person ad. Okay. And Zarika was there. Uh -huh. And uh, this guy who left Gorma here to go to Yanga, alikuwa naitua, alikuwa number nine, alikuwa mkubo sana. Um, Jack, Jack used to be saying Yes. They were all there. And it was a big ad. You know Sport Pesa, when it's an event by Sport Pesa, it's huge. Like, with Sport Pesa, it, this are some of the clients when you were in before. Like, the whole thing, muna lipua on hand. So, I mean, as a... Unezamuela kidogo. Edgar. My advice to the government. Let, let me try and advise the government. Here. Okay. Yes, please do. We would like you to. <laughs> sport Pesa walipojitoa katika sponsorship ya, ya masporti nyingi. Serikali inafai chukue. Inafai chukue ile nini. The government should step in in, in place of Sport Pesa. Shida ya serikali ni Sport Pesa imetoka na imewache hizo loopholes. No. Well, uh, <laughs> B, upper Mali passport pesa, na government na pesa, is three things in that order. I, I think, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm in loss of words. I think I've said all I can say in this show, in particular to that. If I go beyond that, I think I'll be saying things that I'm not allowed. Now, here's what I can say to just quiet it down. I think it's about time the government actually seriously looked at the hole that Sport Pesa left because it's really affecting so many people and it's affecting them in a very negative way. So please, let them see how they can actually rectify this. But moving on to international stories, we have a lot of things that we can still discuss about. And one of the most interesting ones is what happened in the course of the week. Now, Jose Mourinho was appointed Tottenham. Boss, the former Manchester United Chelsea boss replaced Mauricio Pochettino, who was sacked on Tuesday with the club's 14th Premier League. <laughs> 
he took over training at uh, the Hotspurs on Wednesday and headed uh, his first game uh, as he heads his first game again on Saturday against West Ham at London Stadium. Mourinho won three Premier League titles with Chelsea and is one of only three managers to have won the UEFA Champions League twice with two clubs, FC Porto in 2004 and Inter Milan in 2010. Mourinho, who lived in London, had turned down jobs from China, Spain, Portugal since leaving United. You only portfolio on Jamaa Konano. Now you only just to say the least. Now I had, um, I have been hearing the things that Mourinho me kwakisema ever since I was appointed. And Mourinho is Mourinho. I, I, I mean, I'm telling you the truth. Mourinho is seriously Mourinho. If he does not speak and he does not say the things that he says, I don't think anezaka kwa Mourinho. Now, one of the things that he said <laughs> this week is. I I I I I I I comment to I've seen the way he comments. I comment in a criticize, but in a good way, like I could have smooth. Anyway, here's one thing I can say about Mourinho, okay? Uh, I've been looking at uh, and one thing I can say is now people have been calling him I've been to you 700 uh, messages ever since I was appointed and he has only got the chance to actually reply 200 now <laughs> Mourinho nikiangalia strategy ya Mourinho ya kucheza now, now this is looking at it in a football perspective. When I look at the, his strategies of, of how he's been coaching ever since he started coaching, or ever since I knew him for that matter, it's, I think it's safe to say that Wanyama meangukia. Ukweli. Personally, I admire Mourinho's, or Mourinho's coaching style. Kabisa. Kwa, kwa nini nasema hivi? Mourinho ni kocha ambaye ukiongoza mabao mbili kwa sufuri. Hakuna mtu atakomboi hizo mabao kuja pige comeback. Kwa nini? Mourinho is always after results. No matter what. After yeah, results. Heri haweke si basi. Si heri haweke basi ya pige mabao ingie. Tuhudi tuweke basi. Musho wa siku, kitu kinacho what matters results. And when you look at the Tottenham squad, I think in a favor system, yake, Cindy Brio, because you can get the players that Tottenham have, and they actually work, like all of them are physically built. I think Pochettino is going to get But still, what are physically built? They have speed to actually do the coup and yeah. to pick a counter, I'll have to, yeah. really to defend. So, in a favor. In a favor, Kabisa. Um, I think, first of all, Naurumi Westam, I think your game ya kesho uh, 330 he's out to make to prove a point yes i and i don't even i don't know i don't even think there is there has ever been a team where they've gotten a change of managers and they've lost the first game under the new manager i don't i i, I am here to see that mostly now when draw remember united with oleguna solsia they thrashed Leicester to like five nil or six nil remember something like that so, Easter Lamb favor, Wanyama, I'm here, honestly. Wanyama? <laughs> I, can, I, can, I think I'm here, because first of all, Mourinho, unangalia, when he was at Chelsea, he was at most of the African players. He is in the African players. Mikel. Mikel, Drogba, <laughs> uh, all those characters. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to go Africa, and probably Wanyama will now get more playtime. Well, let's just see how Tottenham fares as uh, they have appointed their new coach. Hopefully, Mourinho Tatuanesha Kazinia Tatuanesha. But me, I'm actually looking forward to the press conferences because Izu does not make it all the hype about the games that are to come. In fact, here, West Ham, Niliangale, and it was quite interesting. You guys should go check it out. Now, speaking of coaches being appointed, Coach Enrique. Now, this is a coach that Arsenal had hoped that they would appoint. Should Emery be fired? Me, I'm an Arsenal fan. I can actually attest to it. I had hoped, I had really hoped that Enrique Niliangale would be But, unfortunately for Arsenal fans, uh, Enrique Atavezekana. So Enrique has been appointed the, uh, appointed the Spanish coach, Spain international team. So there goes Enrique. Brian, I check his story. Like in the no, she didn't even. She didn't even bring a good evening. But still, we mean a sad thing. Even a minute, like I said, man. So, um. I, I think I think I think if there was ever a man that would have actually angered Peleka philosophy, Yawenga. Mbali, ama angeendelesha philosophy ya wenga na game style ya wenga, it would have been that man because he's a fan of young and upcoming players and again, he's a fan of holding possession when it comes to football. He likes beautiful games just as much as wenga. So, ile philosophy wenga likuwa meanzisha Arsenal, if there was ever a man that angepeleka forward very well, yeah, but see Pep ako caught in Man City and I pretty sure Arsenal wezi lipa Pep yope sana lipa sayi. So, <laughs> so the the highest hope in the Kugatuni in Rick. So me, this to me is a loss to Arsenal. But let's just hope. Good evening. It. Good evening.
Well, good evening. I, I, I just hope I think so, could think. <laughs> But still, uh, all the best to Arsenal as uh, they continue. Nimona Shaka is being propped uh, to kwa kurudishwa kwa squad and uh, hopefully you'll be in a poor. See, you can meet a funny coming in attack. We usually live on uh, DSTV at 376. Huh? Yeah. So, there's, I saw as we are continuing this, please give me the fixtures to end <laughs> because we are out of time. Yeah, I saw an ID, a poster, and it was an Arsenal. And instead of the way you know they hype this thing, I was like, will Arsenal continue with the losing streak? Ah, you will never son. Arsenal will continue with the losing streak. Who Thank you very much. We have not been losing. We have been drawing intensively, systematically. I'm looking for vocabularies that is in Zakaraim na zingiapo muisho. So give me time. <laughs> Moving on. Now this week we talk on a couple of games that are yet to be played. Uh, when I look at the fixtures, we have Western versus Tottenham, which is the early kickoff tomorrow, and then we have Brighton versus Leicester. Oh man, Leicester, Brighton. Bah, this one, goal thriller. Crystal Palace versus Liverpool. Now. Uh, it has been confirmed Salah won't be playing because uh, of injury. So as Alexander Arnold, I think yeah. those two won't be available. So let's see how Liverpool does without those two players. And then we have Everton versus Norwich also tomorrow. Moving on, we have Arsenal versus Southampton. Now this is a game, one of the games that Unai Emery has been given to actually confirm that he's capable of the job because I hear that the story is he has been given one month with the board to actually prove to the board that he's capable for the job. Moving on, Watford versus Burnley, which is also tomorrow, Bournemouth versus Wolves. Now, Wolves, Wolves have been disappointing this season, but, well, what can we say? And then the big match, head-to-head, -head, Manchester City versus Chelsea. We'll be coming to talk more about that, but on Sunday we also have Sheffield United versus Manchester United. Now, this one, I know most of you will bet for Manchester United, but be very careful. Be very, very, very careful. Be very, very very careful. Now, Aston Villa versus Newcastle will be summing up on Monday. But let's go back to Manchester City versus Chelsea. I think this is one of the best games that Inezaka Chelsea this season. One, because uh, Manchester City are at their best form. I would say that with a lot of respect with the way while Chelsea against Liverpool. Two, Chelsea, um, in as much as we may find formation up on Bele, yes, apo, apo katikati kuna kashimo kengine kana tokea gasiju wapi time zingine apo za 70 apo yeah. enye mabao zine <laughs> <laughs> and the last time we were thrashed 6 nil by this character yes, so let, let's be careful but uh, Abraham are confirmed so hopefully ile for menye ametoka na international ya takuja kuyendelesha kwa nini Aguero well Aguero me, me, who um, say Miss Jamie? Well, I to international as the nonsense. I love to Premier League. Which is all sense. Aguero, Munanzanga League. All of you are there. Eleven goals. I love to two goals. I love to. I love game week thirty-seven. The one is like thirty-five goals. So, ah, ni pati ni. Nani ane nakushinda? Eh, Brian. Chelsea. Chelsea ane nakushinda. This one is speaking as a fan. Ana sema Chelsea wane nakushinda. No. Eh, goals. Two one. Two one. Okay. Uh, na I know Record that one. <laughs> Record it. We need to embarrass some characters here next week. Okay. Me, this is what I can actually say with absolute uh, guarantee. I agree with uh, Edgar that goal goal is 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 a must. Even if tomorrow to make Kubaliana see what we are it's unanimous. But if I was to give my prediction, I actually do believe that Man City will win this game because Pep has greater pressure. Who's directing tonight? Pep has greater pressure. Than <laughs> <laughs> Pep <laughs> are gonna pressure no, Kushinda no. Lampard. By the way, speaking of Chulis, can you Mourinho Lulizo? Mourinho Lulizo, Mourinho Lulizo, if he recently had come to Lulizo, come at our coach uh, Tottenham, Akasema, I can never coach Tottenham. But that's that's Mourinho for you. Akasema, the Akaulizo, Akasema, ah, uh, Akasema. I was at Manchester, but this time I'm a change. And he's a coach Tottenham. Well, Lampard Aluliz was a coach Tottenham, and you can play that video back ten years from today, and he will still say the same thing because he won't be coaching Tottenham. And that's all from us to you, Sports Friday. We hope to bring you each and everything that it happened between now and next week on Friday. Uh, there's so much. Uh, we have Champions League also to come. For me to you is goodbye, guys. I've been your host Eddie Ogowe, and also join me on Saturday, Mekwani Edgar Buire and Brian Mushiru, who have been helping us in analysis and uh, giving us more of their opinion.
Yes, from us to you, again, it's goodbye.